In this video, we're going to take a look at how to download and basically install the deviation emulator software for your Devo 10 transmitter. And then we're going to look at the corresponding keyboard uh, commands that you can utilize to control uh, the simulation aspect of this software. So you want to go ahead to open up a web browser and go to deviationtx.com. From there, just click on the Downloads tab, or button I should say, and look for the corresponding version that you're interested in looking at. Um, my releases all thus far have been covering the official uh, 4.0.1 release, um, so go ahead, if you're following along with me, go ahead and click that. Now please keep in mind that the top option here, this is the actual deviation software that will get installed onto your Devo 10. If you want the emulator, just simply go down to the bottom one. And now here we have the ones marked with Emu. This is the one that you want to get for the corresponding version you have. Really it's pretty s simple to install this software. You just want to go ahead and download this particular zip file, open it, um, e extract the files to your desktop, um, or any of the location of your choosing and go ahead and, and just click on the, the deviation emu software icon to begin. So now that we've downloaded and installed the deviation emulator, let's take a look at how the keyboard can be used to help control the software. First, let's take a look at how you can simulate powering on and off the emulation software. That can be done with the backslash key. This is probably not an oftentimes used key command, but it is helpful if you want to check to see um, you know, your vibration when the transmitter you know, turns on or any sounds you have set when you turn on or off the transmitter. Um, in that capacity, it, it, it is helpful, but I generally don't use it and it's not a huge requirement for testing. Um, the important ones to take a look at really is the left hand side of the Devo transmitter is replaced with the up and down arrow keys for up and down and the exit key is the escape key and the right hand controls the Devo 10 transmitter is replaced with the left and right um, arrow keys as well as the enter or return key which would be the enter key on the transmitter. All in all I think it's a pretty intuitive layout um, Everyone's pretty comfortable with hitting enter to select and maybe escape to get out of where you are. And the up and down arrow keys I think is um, is pretty intuitive being with that's the up and down arrow key on the Devo 10. Likewise left and right is the actual value that you can see on the surface of the transmitter for that one. Now that we know how to get through the menus, let's see what the keyboard can do for us in terms of testing our layouts. Well, you can see here in the grid, I've tried to not only mark the corresponding keyboard keys, but it's going to show you where the values show up on the emulator software. And just a reminder for those people that are they're just starting out, here's where the actual transmitter, um, the location of these keys are on the transmitter as well. So just as for an example, the right hand um, horizontal would be this control service. And as that's moved, it's going to be showcasing in this block here. And it, the corresponding red key, the R and the F key, is going to simulate moving this stick, which on a mode true transmitter is going to be used for your aileron. Likewise, your elevator, which is the right vertical, how it's labeled in the emulator, is going to be the E and the D key. So you can follow through um, and see all the different color codings from the actual physical transmitter how the emulated keyboard command would showcase and then ultimately you can see in the uh, emulation software what it's actually doing. Now keep in mind that um, any of the momentary type toggle switches such as the dual rate or the mix or the gear or the flight uh, mode switch those are going to actually be indicated with values of 100 for the selected state and negative 100 for the other available states. So as you go through and you press those keys, it's going to actually toggle the 100 will move to the various spots. So that's indicating to let you know 
really 100 equals like you know check like this is the one that's on um, that's how this the software kind of indicates that and really what it is is 100 is like full full on and negative 100 is like full off so it's kind of like on and off that's how they're showing that so it's pretty easy to walk through pretty much it's just going to be up and down um, across the surfaces the T and the G and the Y and the H that's actually simulating your control knobs so the T being all the way left the G being all the way right and then the lower row this is your really your switches so you're gonna have your Z key is your gear the X is the uh, dual rate rudder dual rate aileron I'm sorry dual rate elevator dual rate aileron the B key will toggle the three mix states and the N key will toggle the three light mode states so this is um, many of you that are watching the, my earlier tutorials had asked me how am I actually go ahead and, and doing those the values do I have the transmitter uh, actually installed as I'm doing the simulation and no all of the videos that I do are unless you can actually see the transmitter on the screen they're all done directly on the emulator and this this keyboard pattern down here is what I'm actually using throughout all those videos to um, to do the, the various things that I'm trying to show you. Now keep in mind that this screen here is showing you how to simulate moving the movements, the control sticks, the knobs, the switches on the Devo 10 and it's showing you how to visually confirm that. The, the next step that's really not going to be covered in this video but is in some other videos of mine is showcasing how to use the software to mix and map channels and mixes and do great things to be able to actually control your model and down here is the mixing output that shows um, basically the results of what you programmed so if I program my throttle let's say for example to be at channel 1 as I move from negative 100 all the way to 100 as I press the R and the F key I should see my channel 1 doing the same thing if that's what I've intended for it to be. So that's, um, again, we kind of do cover that in the actual usage videos where I show you how to set up some basic models using both the standard and the advanced interface. This video is really was aimed to show you how to actually control the simulator software with the keyboard and test the mixes and such that I'm covering in some other videos. So the only last piece to do, which um, again, I don't use a whole lot but it could be helpful if you're setting up um, any of your virtual buttons which I'll probably end up doing a video or two down the road on those as well by pressing shift while you're using the control surface you're actually going to be able to indicate the toggling of a trim switch so for example if you wanted to get to the um, horizontal trim for the left hand stick you would just simply hold down shift and then use the left hand stick um, Q and A buttons and that's going to actually transmit the signals to the simulator the emulator software as if you were using the trim button as opposed to the actual stick itself so that's pretty easy to remember any of the movable controls the, the sticks or the knobs if you hold down shift it's going to simulate the corresponding trim key for that particular control. Well, I hope that was helpful. Um, if there's anything else you'd like to see me make, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed that video.